Hello YouTube, welcome to new scene anatomy video. Today I continue my journey with the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 and Bitwig Studio. When I purchased my first iPad several years ago, I really enjoyed the way how you can tweak parameters or synthesizers, effects and more. Today I want to check out if this is also possible with a Windows tablet with Bitwig. For making this possible, I will take two of my uh, favorite synthesizers UE Diva and XFR Serum and we'll make some tests of it. Let's take the first one, Diva. Let's take also another preset. And let's hear it. My first test is now, can I tweak while playing on my on the display because I love this on my iPad when I press a, a button or when I press a note and I, ca I can change it. Let's take, a, let's test it. This is here not possible. What is here possible? You take here the finger on the, on the button or the, on the slider and you move it and then play uh, the note. This is a bit of shame that you can uh, play a note and then tweak the parameter. So you need to take first the, the parameter and then play a note. So I hope they can improve this in future, that you can play a note and tweak the, the knob in the same time. I have also connected a MIDI keyboard from Arturia, a key, um, key step, and for demonstrating that while you're playing a note on the key step or, or the other MIDI controller, you can tweak the parameter on the screen. You see that 98% uh, of the things working, sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, the most time it works. So when you play a note on your keyboard, this works. So playing a note on the keyboard and then moving the knobs on the display, that works. So this is very nice, but if you take, if you play only on the screen, that, that doesn't work. So you need to play first, take your the finger on the knob and then playing. So I hope a lot that Bitwig and other developers will improve this in future. I will take also now at the second, so Serum. Let's add also Serum to the test list. So you have here Serum. I'll take here also a, a pad. Can I play the, the keys here? Not really, that doesn't work. Then I go to the play section. Let's 
Let's do the same as in Diva. First play a note and then try to tweak the knob. This doesn't work here. Let's make again the same first taking the, the knob and then playing. This is working here. Making the same with the, also with the keyboard. You see that it's possible when you play on the external keyboard, you can tweak the knobs with your fingers directly on the screen. That's really nice. But if you need, uh, if you want to play now a zero on your key on this visual keyboard, I recommend you to use this this extra interface here in Bitwig. So you see now in zero and in Diva that it's quite difficult to tweak knobs while playing on the keyboard on the screen of the Surface Pro. I can say now if this is working the same on Onyx tablets, so because I don't test them, but here is the fact. As in summary I can say it's nice, it's a nice feature, it's it's cool, it's working with external keyboards, but I really hope that a Bitwig or other or if it's a problem on the side of Microsoft, that they can fix this. Because this would be really cool, because this exists already a long time on iOS. When you play one note, and or when you play notes, and then you can tweak it to, uh, together. So you can tweak the knobs with the no uh, and while playing. So I hope they will fix this. And and as usual, if you have a question, please leave them in comments below so I can answer you as soon as possible. And if you have other questions to the Surface or the Bitwig, please tell me them also. I will try to answer them also very soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and for your continued support. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Bye!